Hey guys, it's uh, Heretic here, and uh, taking a break from painting some uh, Rough Riders. Um, I was watching uh, some of my subscriptions lately up on YouTube, and everyone seems to be talking about this the GW price mix. And I think um, between Beast of War, Tony Pony, and uh, Otaku. Uh, everybody makes a really great point. I really don't have anything to add. So I thought I would take a different approach to this whole GW price hike. Okay. At first, when I thought about sitting down and talking about it, I thought I would just be. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to mess with people and actually try to defend GW. I I really can't do it. I mean, I I, th I thought of some great arguments and stuff, but. Um, it's just not in my heart. This really, it affects the entire um, gaming community. And uh, this is the worst economy I've seen ever. And uh, unfortunately, you know, your hobby is just that. It's just a hobby. So, you know, um, it's unfortunate when um, things become too pricey where... You almost end up not uh, not supporting, uh, you know, something that you enjoy doing. So, with that in mind, I wanted to come up with the surviving the price hike guy. Okay, so it's some basic things that we can do as a uh, as a community to survive. Because ultimately, we have some power here. We don't have to just sit here and take it. We can exercise. Um, we can exercise our ability to um, our purchasing power. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Buy not buy. You don't have to buy it. They raise the price on something. They don't. You don't have to buy it. Now, does that mean you're going to stop playing? Probably not. But all the new shiny stuff, you know, you want the new shiny whatever, and that's what this is about. So, option one, I'm calling it the secondary market. That's uh, eBay. That's whatever is in the display window at your local hobby store. Um, this is buying used models. Uh... Chances are, because of the price hikes, people are going to be selling some of their stuff. It happens. And um, it becomes a wonderful opportunity for you to, um, to pick up uh, the stuff you want at a decent price, especially with eBay and everything. And, you know, you can even get them cheaper at the local uh, hobby store. Uh, granted, you know, with eBay, it, it, you, you you lose the instant gratification, but what you do gain is um, some great finds. You know, I'm always a fan of the older sculpts, so whenever I see, a, uh, you know, th some of the older uh, guard models, I always um, put in a bid when I can. So, So that's, you know, that's definitely a way around this. Uh, number two is convert. You know, it's uh, I'm starting to fall in love with the Manticore, right? And I have two Basilisks, which I never field. So guess what? I am going to convert those two Basilisks into Manticores, and uh, it's going to take some some serious thought and research and everything, but it's also a great part of the hobby. It used to be really, um, GW used to really want you to convert in the early days. The uh, original Whirlwind model, well, there wasn't one, you know, but they, they came out with a guide of how to take a, uh, a monster base from Fantasy and, and turn it into, you know, the rocket launcher. It was really great. And uh, I think they've lost that. You know, with with um, 
what they did with bits ordering where now you're just buying sprues instead of little it's harder to buy the bits but you can do it with stuff lying around I mean you just, let me scan this crazy mess here is my painting table and uh, I've got a lot of great bits so you know another thing you can do is consolidate you know you want to to really survive this this crunch here um, you need to consolidate. Think about, you know, is there armies that sit on your shelf? C can you part with them, trade them, you know, and 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 get the stuff that you really want, you know? I'd say that's probably that's a good idea. I mean, I know I have a Blood Angel army, and there's my rhino right there, one of my rhinos, and I'll never use them. I just, I just don't like Marines, but I have a Marine army. You know, I mean, um, uh, here's, you know, here's a guy I was working on. You know, and uh, uh, even went and 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 made, you know, the snow base and everything, and you know, and some other Marine Blood Angel guys I was working on. Ah, uh, wow. Really start rambling when I'm like this. But anyways, I digress. Uh, I could part with this army. I could trade it. Uh, uh, people might, uh, people love Marines, so I'm uh, actually consider doing that. I mean, it's been a while since I bought anything new from GW. Most of my Praetorians were bought on eBay. So, um, eBay or trades. So consider the secondary market, okay? If we're if we're going to not buy new stuff, but we still love the game and we still want to support our hobby centers, um, you know, you can buy from their display cases or whatever. Uh, you're still supporting them. Um, you, uh, like Nataku said, play a different game, a more economical game like War Machine, or um, if you're a GW uh, fanboy. Like I tend to be, uh, I love Blood Bowl because you buy a box set, you're done. You know that's your team, and everything else is free. Rules are free. Uh, you can make your own pitch and uh, you know convert the models. Every, every everything about Blood Bowl is is cheap, and that's why I'm going to get into Necromunda uh, because of just how this economy is going. Uh, we can't expect GW to lower their prices. That's not what they do. Uh, as far as I know, these price hikes happen every year. And um, I have yet to see them go down. Another thing I just want to mention, I'm, I'm running out of time here, which sucks. Uh, uh, there's always promotions, uh, competitions, painting, uh uh, tournaments where you uh, where they give away box sets, you know, um, that's something else you might want to consider. Uh, playing smaller games, um, you know, and I guess I already mentioned playing other games. Uh, we we've got to. That's the only way. I mean, are you really going to quit playing 40k? I don't think so. And if you uh, or 40k fantasy. I'm excited about the new orcs, you know, and I, I, I want to play my, my boys. I want to play my new orc army in fantasy. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to have to deal with this because I have a family. I, I have car payments. I have house payments. I have got bills. Hobbying takes a back seat, and it's really... The companies aren't going to change. GW is not going to change their strategy. So um, it's really up to us to, to come up with creative ways to get around. Okay? I mean, this, this is crack prices, man. They got us hooked on the crack. Now they want to gouge it. And hey, they know we're not going to go anywhere. That's the sad truth. That is the sad truth. But you can always find a way around something. And that's it. I am out of here.